in one of our last videos, we tried to emphasize on the importance of uh, actually interpreting your structures at a recognizance uh, scale before you go in for ground truthing. We released a video on the use of remote sensing to detecting fault zones and some alteration zones. So you can check our videos on uh, mineral mining archives so you can like follow up in what we are doing. Uh, today we actually want to re-emphasize and um, advance on what we did before. Uh, we are working on a project and we've been using that project to, to actually showcase what um, structural interpretation could, could be of help in, in mapping. Okay, let's go to our project area boundary. This is the project area we are working on. As you can see, this area is, um, you see, you, you can see the, you can see this is almost uh, 15 kilometers by 15 kilometers. So just for you to have an idea of, of the scale of what we are working on. Um, we try looking at assuming that this is we don't have much of the data to work on this area we try to first of all start looking at the water bodies in this location the water bodies we did some raster image processing to come up with um, our water bodies and this is what we found in this location so if we started by looking at the deviations in water bodies. This was actually what captured our attention. This location, this location, and this location. If you look at this, actually this water naturally is supposed to go straight downwards here. But we found a unique structure here when we did in the water accumulation analysis and we found out another structure here if you, you see it seems this seems as if something is actually pushing up here and we looked at this location so you can see a kind of displacement so that actually tells us that actually there is something happening around here and we can see branch branches of this uh, of the water bodies looking at this you can see this is the primary, the primary water. This is the primary order of the water. This is the primary order of the water. But this water body and this are running parallel. This and this are running parallel. This actually seems to be running or seems to actually meet somewhere here. So having seen something like this, we need to pay more emphasis on actually what is happening here. So we need to start thinking of what else can we do to emphasize on this. Actually, we have to go to our magnetics data, magnetic um, radiometric data, gravity data, and all that. But I will not bore you with a lot of processes that I involved. I just want to show us if actually our initial thinking is right as we progress with our interpretation. So when we actually got this, we started suspecting a lot of structural activities, uh, deformational activities that are happening around this location. So now let's look at our, um, some other structures we've actually done. We're trying to look at uh, magnetic um, structures. From the magnetic structures, the summary of what we got in our magnetic structures look like this. You know, this is actually what we got from the magnetic structures. Um, this, um, all our structures in different directions, we try to vertical derivatives of the magnetic structures, we try to do second derivative of magnetic structures. We try to 
process it in the x direction the y direction in order to bring out all the necessary um, uh, structures looking at this here we we try to as much as possible um, uh, bring out what could uh, make sense here if you look at this we have primary structures running in this northeast direction there are two of them this is very clear this and this now this is another kind of structure that seems to be bigger now something interesting is happening here you can see two parallel structures <coughs> running exactly at this um, a deviation of water bodies at this particular location you can see it now the same thing comes there but at this location it seems it stopped you know it stopped somewhere here but we couldn't actually make meaning all meaning out of this so the issue is there is there is a structures running northeast to northeast exactly at this point and at this point too we can see a fracture zone actually coinciding with the water body here so actually telling us that yes something has actually made this water to deviate and have such a displacement you see this displacement is very huge if we measure it it gives us almost um, uh, two kilometers so that will tell you that this is very very huge you know and you look at this here this gives us about 3.5 kilometers so now what next did we do we worked on our radiometric data and when we bring in our radiometric data we saw something like this these are some structures we picked from the radiometric you see the radiometric data seems to have actually shown up a continuation from here you see coincided with this structure here it coincided with the structure here and this coincided with structure here shows that possibly the magnetic couldn't pick up this but radiometric was able to the boundaries were able to pick up something here so now if you look at these two things something is very interesting here you can look at this and look at this so you can see that this is a faulted block what has it shown? It's shown that definitely there are opposite uh, forces acting along this, along this plane. And initially, we've seen this push here, and there are push here. So this actually telling us that yes, initially our suspicion from here, we got from the water body, is um, uh, seems to be true. So we look at this, okay, if this is the faulted plane, uh, then we really need to see, is there any other thing? Definitely, if this is the primary structure here, and we have a primary structure here. Now, let's look at, is there any other thing around this place? Then we try to do, try to look for attraction zones. Where do we have attraction zones falling within? the whole of this location we did um, um, the ratios of, um, of um, potassium uranium and that of uh, thorium uranium and all that so we try to see the alteration um, uh, actually the alteration zones the possible locations we found out also that the alteration zones possible alteration zones falls within here Okay, let's look at some of the ratios of um, the metric we did. You see, you can see this. This is the ratio of potassium and thorium we did here. And this is the ratio of, of uh, uranium and thorium. But there is coincidence here. Very interesting coincidence. Okay, let's look at 
what we digitize out. So you can see what we digitized out here shows that, okay, let's just um, change this to have a, uh, a kind of look um, with our symbols. Sorry. Okay. You can see we'll have attrition zones here. We'll have very high anomaly here. We'll have that signs here also. We'll have it here. So we found out that possible attrition zones happens also within this location. You see? So now in interpreting structures and zones of uh, mineralization, there are coincidences that are very important we are looking at. We are looking at coincidences of 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 structures that are fractured zones, folds, folds, and um, you know, and shear zones. Um, coinciding with some attrition zones and also with uh, actually knowing that we actually know the geology where we are working also so so looking at this this gives us a very interesting interesting features to work with so we will actually try to go uh, further to to pick up our samples. From here, we're developing uh, sample points during our ground truthing to actually identify um, uh, some of the important locations. Now, let me show you the some of the contours grid we did in 20 meters. Now, if you look at the contour grid here, you know, this looks like an areole very interesting you know look at this locations then look at this location look at this this location now remember that if this is a fractured zone this could be a conjugate conjugate force now if the primary hydrothermal uh, flow migrates through this way, then we should be looking at all these areas as a prospect. We should be looking at somewhere here as also a prospect. Then we should also be looking at somewhere here as also a prospect. So I think with this, we can proceed further to do some other work to actually validate the essence of using uh, initial uh, remote sensing data, magnetic data, and all that to actually come up with an interesting uh, recognizance uh, map for further detailed work. With this, I know you must have understood what I want to put across. Uh, thank you for watching. In the next episode, we'll bring more of actually our findings within this location. Have a blessed day.